Sometimes getting along is out of the question. Is there any chance of a handshake? No chance. It's painful oh, listening Mark. to this chump. Welcome back to SMB Boxing. And today, we're starting a new mini-series called Most Personal. As the name suggests, for this feature, we will be looking at boxing rivalries that had genuine bad feeling between the fighters in the build-up to the two of them squaring off inside the ring. This is the fight that began outside of the ring, the story of Derek Chisora versus David Hay. Finchley heavyweight Derek Chisora is without doubt one of the most wildest and unpredictable fighters boxing has ever seen. Early career misdemeanors include being fined for biting one opponent and kissing another. I, mean, I figured out it was Valentine's, you know, so, you know, I gave him a little kiss. I was going to give him a rose as well, but it happens anyway, so I'm, I'm so sorry about that anyway. Despite the unsavory incidents and back-to-back -back points defeats to Tyson Fury and Robert Hellenius, respectively, Chisora had shown enough in a 17-fight career spanning over five years to get a shot at the WBC champion Vitaly Klitschko in Germany on February 18, 2012. Sometimes he obviously tries to get under an opponent's skin. He's bitten an opponent's ear. That's a way in once he even, or is it a press conference, he even kissed his opponent. Would you like him to kiss you? <sighs> I kiss just woman. The man's. It's not my. I swing uh, both ways, player. You, you know what? I, I swing mean. both ways, man. Don't worry about that, man. I swing both ways. I don't mind. I swing both ways. You want to kiss me? You know that great, man. You didn't shave, so sorry, man. <laughs> In the build-up, Chisora was his usual boisterous self when around Vitali, but he also took any chance he could to mock or threaten the retired former undisputed cruiserweight champion and former heavyweight champion David Hay, who put in a disappointing performance on German soil when he lost his last fight to Vitaly's brother Vladimir and partly blamed the defeat on a toe injury. What did you think of David's performance against uh, Vladimir Klitschko? Him and his broken toe? I ain't got a clue. Would that be the type of injury that would prevent you performing? Even if he had a broken toe, you're supposed to fight through him, forget the pain and just try and make the British public happy to love him. And after all, he comes out and say he had a broken toe. You're supposed to get knocked out. And they say, you know what, I try my best, but you know, I'm going to get a rematch, and that's it. You don't have to give us 12 shit rounds and then tell us he had a broken toe. When I see him, I'm giving him a broken jaw. <laughs> Chisora was perhaps attempting to convince UK fans that he would do better than fellow Brit Hay in Germany. But his words would later come back to literally smack him in the face. Can you see a match being made against you and David Hay at some point? It don't matter, either in a ring or outside a ring, David Hay is going to get it. <laughs> On fight week in Munich, Chisora appeared to be keeping his cool during media duties with Vitali. But as had been the case in the past, he inexplicably lashed out with the unprovoked slap on the Ukrainian's face at the weigh-in. Why are you so angry, Derek? Why are you so angry? I'm in a fight mood, man. What do you think, I come to play games? I'm all cool, I'm Mr. Nice when it's nice. You know, I can give you what you want. I ain't come here to play games, I come to fight. The incident set the tone for fight night, where the ring walks were delayed after Vladimir took issue with the way Chisora was wrapping his hands, prompting rows between the camps, and Chisora to rip his hand wraps off and threaten to pull out from fighting. There is certain rules on gauzing and taping the hands, and you have to follow the rules. That's it. And you're fully So satisfied. we were following the rules. And I've been in this sport for 16 years professionally, and I know exactly what I'm talking about. You're fully satisfied now? Yes. After the hand wrap issue was resolved and both fighters had made their ring walks, Chisora spat water in Vladimir's face as a form of payback for causing problems to his preparations. Vladimir showed great restraint by not reacting in an aggressive way, but later admitted that he wanted to break Chisora's face. Well, right up to the start, Chisora is just seen to be trying to pull every conceivable stroke to get under the skin of the Klitschko's. The fight itself was highly entertaining, with Chisora slightly redeeming his ridiculous actions from the past few days as he gave Vitali his toughest test in years. Vitali, Vitali, the chance again reverberate around. Another good solid chopping right hand from Klitschko. Bravery from Chisora, though. Chisora walked into two big shots there. Left hand under right hand, and the crowd respond. 
Perhaps the stronger of the two Klitschko's. It's a good right hook from Klitschko. That's a nice of the cut. And the crowd again respond to that. Chisora showing that he's got a good chin though. Shouting from the oh, Klitschko, nice from the Charlie. Chisora corner. Obviously something he's, he thinks is a weakness on Klitschko or no one really targets Klitschko's body, but he's going for it. Right hook of the Chisora found the target then. That That's a, a big shot. right hand from Chisora. And Klitschko just looking a wee bit disorganised as he's forced to give ground. Good right hand from Chisora. Klitschko's chin being tested. Despite the constant pressure applied by Chisora, Vitaly was comfortable boxing off the back foot and landed the more cleaner power punches as the fight progressed to the 12 round distance. And there's the final bell. Brave effort from the British challenger. After the final bell, Chisora became just the fourth man ever to go the distance with Vitaly, but the result was never really in doubt as the Ukrainian won by eight points on all three of the judges' scorecards and retained his WBC belt. Well, now this does not want to start getting silly again here. It was also fair to say that Chisora didn't exactly settle his differences with either Klitschko brother at the conclusion of the fight. Vladimir is uh, telling Derek Chisora in no uncertain terms what he thinks of him. As is the case for most high-profile showdowns, Vitaly and Chisora both attended a post-fight press conference. I, I'm very upset because I want to knock him out. It's not happened. I don't want to find some excuses why it's not happened. After Vitaly gave a statement about his successful title defense in both German and English, Chisora was asked by the media why he slapped Vitaly at the weigh-in, and his response was pretty much unapologetic as he claimed his actions were due to a promise he made to his mother that he would slap either one of the Klitschko brothers or David Hay. We, we draw the short straw so you got to slap, and I already said it, when I see him or his brother or David Hay, the book is going to get slapped as well, so... Uh... Hay had been working as a TV pundit and was present near the back of the press conference. Despite being retired, he wanted to fight Vitaly, and after his name was brought up by Chisora, he started to exchange back and forth unpleasantries with Vitaly's manager, Bert Bonte, over a potential fight with the Ukrainian champion. Almost inevitably, Chisora was quickly involved, and he and Hay engaged in some verbal sparring. Yeah, he makes my box office for all the young fighters coming up and I'm going to give him two slaps for that. If David Hay is a fighter, he should fight me. I don't know if he's there. lost three fights in a row. Yeah, let's fight. Excuse, Excuse me. What? I'm not let's fight. Let's fight. What? what? From the lost three fights in a row. Let's fight. 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 Let's f
in the country. Two days after their dust-up, Chisora and Hay released formal statements. Chisora said that he was embarrassed by the incident and apologized, while Hay solely blamed Chisora for the brawl and said that he was forced to act in self-defense. A few days later, Hay reiterated his stance in an entertaining satellite link interview on a UK TV show. David, thanks for joining us. Is there a simple answer to this question? What on earth were you thinking of? <laughs> I was thinking of uh, not being another victim of his. The guy is not a nice guy. He comes over to me in my face. I feel his knuckles in my face. What am I supposed to do? I've got to close the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had no other option in that. I could have stood there with my hands by my side and got punched, kicked, spat at. You remember, he was there not by himself, he was there with a full entourage who I actually had to fight on my own. I had to fight all of his people on my own. I had no other alternative. There's nothing cool about getting slapped in the face and there's nothing cool about another man spitting in your face and you standing there slurping up with a silly grin on your face. <laughs> nothing clever about that. I think, I think one of the problems, David, is that the, the, the fist that you hit him with had, had actually got a beer bottle in it at the time. And that was his complaint. He kept saying that you'd can, glassed him. I can understand how that looks, but I was there as part of the media. I was actually, it wasn't a beer either. I was actually drinking, it was a bottle of uh, lemonade, I think it was. Was it glass? Anyway, so I'm, dr I'm drinking it. It was, a gla it was a glass bottle, yeah. It was a glass bottle. But I didn't hit him with that bottle. I hit him with my fist. If I would have had my mobile phone in my hand at the time, it would have been a mobile phone. If I'd have had a hot dog in my hand, he would have had <laughs> to catch up all over himself because I'd have hit him with that. It would have been great if he'd have been running around saying I've been hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Although the press conference brawl received tons of bad publicity, boxing fans clamored for Chisora and Hay to settle their bad blood in the ring. However, a month after the incident, the potential fight was put in serious doubt when the British Boxing Board of Control indefinitely withdrew Chisora's boxing license at a hearing. On the other hand, Hay had no case to answer as he was officially retired from the sport. Derek's license has been withdrawn. That's a life ban. No, his license has been withdrawn. How long for? It's been withdrawn. Yeah, but there must be a time on that. We better ask the boxing is it, control. Is there a way back? His license has been withdrawn, and what will happen now is uh, we'll consider whether to appeal the uh, uh, decision. Promoter Frank Warren promptly exploited a fair and square loophole to get the highly demanded fight on. To simply explain the loophole, Warren got both Chisora and Hay to obtain a Luxembourg boxing license, which then allowed the Luxembourg Boxing Federation to sanction a bout between the pair in England because the organization held a European Boxing Union membership. I'd also like to thank the Luxembourg Boxing Federation <clears throat> for making this particular fight happen. You know, it's a, it's a boxing match that myself versus Derek Chisora that the world want to see. Everybody wants to see this fight. Amidst controversy, Chisora vs. Hay was officially announced on May 8, 2012 at a press conference with the date of the grudge match set for July 14th. To avoid any more serious trouble out of the ring, both men were positioned either side of a steel fence and surrounded by security guards. Talk is cheap now anyway, you know, that was a lucky shot, you know, I'll give that one to you. Right now you're winning 1-0, you know, but come in a couple weeks time, I'm going to whoop your ass. And you know that already. Yeah, you talk a lot, you talk a hell of a lot, you know, the best thing that's ever come out of your mouth is my fist. You know, the problem with me, David, is, in the bottle. You, know, you know, the problem with me, David, is I talk, I know exactly. how to fight. I don't blame you on anything. We're, we're the winners. You know hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Streak. After the kickoff press conference, one of our favorite pre fight interviews occurred when Hay appeared live on a news channel and once again defended his actions in Germany. Yeah, but when I was chatting to him a little bit earlier on, he did apologize for what happened. Shouldn't you apologize for as what? Well, I though? defended myself. Maybe you like, maybe, maybe apologize for defending myself. If someone burgles your house and you, and you attack and you, and you knock them out, are you going to apologize them for knocking them out? No, you're not. You're going to stump on their head. Just like any normal person would. Do you think that's what normal yes. people would do? That's what, I, that's, what, that, that's, what, that's what I would do. That's what I've been brought up to do. And that's what I think any real man will do. You've got to react as quickly as possible. And you've got, I had a fraction of a second to make my decision. My decision was, render this idiot unconscious. And that's exactly what I did. And I'll do it again. David, hey, you don't help your cause, do you? We give you an opportunity to apologize for what happened. I'm, I have no and cause. And you just, you my, just my, my, come my, out my, arguing and fighting apologize. again. 
Over the next few months, the buildup remained tense but captivating, with the steel fences and security guards remaining in place whenever Chizora and Hay were brought near each other. On a rainy fight night in front of 30,000 fans at a raucous Upton Park, a masked Chizora made his way to the ring first. Despite being 37 pounds heavier and three years younger than Hay, Chizora was the betting underdog as he had lost his last three fights all by points decisions and held an overall 15 and 3 record. Hay made his way to the ring second and switched his usual swagger-filled entrance to a steely focus. The former two-division champion and favorite to win was coming out of a year's retirement and his 25-2 and two record showed a clear advantage in power as 23 of his wins were by knockout. From the opening bell, Chizora came aggressively forward and quickly backed Hay up against the ropes. But Hay put down a good early marker when he appeared to briefly wobble Chizora during an exchange of left hooks. Oh, good left hand from Chizora. And almost lifting Hay off his feet. From there, Chizora continued to press the action. However, he struggled to land anything significant while Hay caught him several times with power shots. Chizora just trying to walk Hay down. Derek Chizora. That's a good right hand from Hay. Big shot. And he knows that Chizora felt the weight of that. That's a big right hand again attempting yeah. to land. He's trying to chop it down. But he does have a cast iron chin. One landed after the bell by Hay. In the third round, Chizora finally warmed into the fight as he let his hands go more when in range. And on the bell to end the session, he delivered a solid left hook which appeared to hurt Hay. This fight would be Hayes. Lovely sharp right hand from Hay. Great hand speed. Tested once more that chin by Derek Chisora. Smile from Hay. Starting to warm up this one a bit, you sense? Yeah. Nice uppercut inside from Hay. Day back in September 2004 when Carl Thompson took him to task. Go toe to toe. Look at this. Good job from Chisora. All after the bell, John, we didn't the even hear it. The bell had gone, you couldn't hear it. Gone. Absolute bedlam. People are standing up all around, and after the bell went, Hay was caught flush by a left hook. Yeah, we never even heard it. The referees just asked the timekeeper to ring it loud the next round. The end of the previous round spurred both men on to go toe-to-toe -to -toe through several sequences in a thrilling fourth stanza, with the pick of the punches being a perfectly timed right uppercut from Hay that swiveled Chisora's head and sent a stream of spit flying out of his mouth. Oh, big right hand again from Chisora. Both of them now landed. Both of them landed really well there, John. Chisora doesn't want to be there. You're not used to being on the ropes. You don't want to be there with someone like David Hay. This time, in the fourth round. Oh, big right hand from Chisora now. But Hay again takes it well. Take your eyes off this. Good, Good left, left hand from Hay, lovely punch. Trying that hard to turn the right hand in so much that it's almost looking like a slap, like he's, he's stamping his hand down. Two good jabs from Chisora. He doesn't need to do that. Well, it's been another round for Hay. Following more back and forth action in the fifth round, Hay sent an onrushing Chisora down with a crunching left hook and a right hand for good measure as he was falling. At the moment, the boxing class of Hay is prevailing. Lovely right hand and then slipping the attempted counter. And another big right from Hay. He, he, he does what we, we all expect him to do and slow down. And Chisora to take over late. Oh, big left oh, hand on the right! 
tremendous shots from Hay, left to right hand, and Hay, and Chisora down in the fifth. Wonderful left hook that was from David Hay, blurring hand speed, and Chisora touches down. After beating the count and being allowed to continue by the referee, Chisora tried to clear his head by holding, but Hay wrestled himself free and unloaded a ferocious flurry of punches to send Chisora face first to the canvas. He's got one of the best chins in the business, Ten but he couldn't stand up. Off. And he's gone again. I don't think he's going to get up this time. The, the count of six and seven and eight. Chisora once again showed immense bravery by beating the count, but this time the referee decided that he was in no position to continue and waved off the contest. It's all over, and the great grudge match has been won by David Hay by stoppage. Despite all the animosity between Chisora and Hay, the two men embraced after the fight and declared that their feud was over. There was a lot of beef beforehand. You know, everyone knows what's going on, but. We went in there, we both laid it on the line, put our lives on the line for everyone's entertainment. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that Derek's healthy now. And, and you know, I believe he's gonna go on to do great things in boxing. In 2018, six years after their battles, the pair unexpectedly announced a partnership deal that saw a fully retired Hay become Chisora's manager. He, he wants to win the heavyweight championship of the world. I've done it before, he wants to do it, and I'm gonna do everything humanly possible to make sure that happens. Chisora had three wins from six fights under Hay's management in an almost three-year period before the pair amicably split. Thanks for watching. What grudge matches would you like to see featured in this series? Let us know in the comments. Unlike Joshua's original foe, Gerald Miller, Ruiz was very respectful in the buildup, posing for pictures and holding the champion's belts at a press conference and generally coming across as just happy to be there. But I'm not here to, to talk trash about anybody. I don't really have nothing bad to say about Anthony Joshua. You know, I don't have nothing bad to say about AJ.